everyone welcome to this update video i hope you're doing really well this morning we're going to be taking a look at what is going on across the atlantic and we can see that it is getting pretty festive out there with our tropical waves so we've got three marked tropical waves likely there will be a fourth later today we see all of that activity making its way off the african coast so likely our fourth tropical wave getting ready and the third one is not too far from it, not sustaining as much activity compared to yesterday or even the day before. And then we've got tropical wave number two. We can see all of that activity just north of the Guyanas. That is going to be moving in as we head into later today and bring a rainfall increase to the southeastern Caribbean islands. We'll be looking at that. And then we've got our other tropical wave headed to the western Caribbean, which is helping to enhance the rain in the area. So let's zoom in. We see all of this activity activity north of the Guyanas and we can see it push into the west so this is going to be bringing an increase in rainfall for areas such as Trinidad and Tobago even Grenada uh, you guys got some rain uh, in Grenada I saw your comments but you know hopefully this is going to be a more substantial increase in rainfall compared to the recent downpours that you guys have been receiving but further up to the Leeward Islands should be on the drier side as this tropical wave moves in abc islands will likely be dry for a while as well and moving in a bit more to the caribbean here we can see all this moisture around associated with the first tropical wave of the season so with all this increase in moisture later today there are likely to be additional heavy downpours and thunderstorms across parts of the caribbean so let's get into it this is a look at the rainfall forecast for today and the very early morning hours of tomorrow as well so we can see a bit of color around for parts of the northern bahamas going to the turks and caicos islands so there could be some additional showers and thunderstorms there even near florida and then as we head to parts of cuba jamaica uh, potentially for the cayman islands there could be some downpours and as i said you know some thunderstorms as well uh, that tropical wave is in the area so it is definitely helping to enhance the moisture parts of hispaniola puerto rico the virgin islands especially for northern puerto rico there could be some additional rainfall activity today and we could see those thunderstorms popping up this afternoon. For much of the Lesser Antilles, well, the Leeward Islands, uh, Anguilla, St. Martin, St. Barthelme, Antigua, Barbuda, St. Kitts and Nevis, Seba, St. Stasius, Montserrat, it is likely that it may not be as active compared to what is expected further south. So again, all of that rain is going to be coming in associated with the second tropical wave. We see it getting colorful for Barbados, Trinidad, Tobago, Grenada, the Grenadines, St. Vincent. So pretty colorful. The more color we see, more rain is expected. So there could be some substantial rainfall as we're going to be heading into later today for the southeastern Caribbean islands and even other islands such as St. Lucia, Martinique, Dominica, Guadeloupe may experience some uh, showers as well. But that rainfall chance is not as high compared to the aforementioned islands further south. As I mentioned before, ABC islands will be on the drier side. Much rain not expected today. Maybe a little downpour or so at maximum. Northern South America, especially for Colombia, will be active there's likely to be uh, those flood triggering rains over three inches probably up to four inches or five in some spots and then headed to the southwestern caribbean central america so for panama costa rica and especially southeast nicaragua take a look at those burgundy and purple and pink shadings popping up in the area so there's likely to be a lot more rain and that could definitely trigger some flooding also for the islands of san andreas providencia it's going to be another wet day for the most part sections of honduras and even el salvador and uh, guatemala may also experience a couple of downpours as we head through today even some heavy rain in some spots and a few showers may move through parts of belize so that is what is expected guys in terms of the rainfall activity for today and you know with these tropical waves coming in yes there is more rain in the caribbean but there's also that increased chance of seeing something develop and models are showing something pretty interesting i have been watching them for a while now we've got the euro model up first and we're headed to monday of next week the third of june so third day of hurricane season hurricane season starts on saturday we can see all these green shadings around and that is indicating the precipitation rate. So we can see that by that time, the euro is expecting that there's going to be a lot of moisture around the northern islands, Jamaica, 
the Cayman Islands, Hispaniola, parts of Cuba, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, parts of the Northern Leeward Islands as well. But then, as we're going to be heading into Tuesday evening, we see all this moisture still loitering around the Northern Islands and headed to Thursday, it is still there. So this could be days of continuous rain for parts of the Northern Caribbean as we're going to be heading into next week. And we see that airflow pressure forming within the vicinity of the central Bahamas. So that could be a hint that, hey, you know, something could try to form from that surge in moisture expected across the northern Caribbean islands. Next, we have the GFS model. GFS is showing that the airflow pressure forming just near Jamaica. It definitely has that rainfall increase for Monday. And then it shows that system making its way out by Tuesday. So compared to the Euro model, GFS isn't showing a whole lot of moisture lingering around. But uh, sometimes the GFS model can be a bit more robust as it uh, relates to development. So uh, we'll see how that goes. As for the ICON model, ICON is also showing that increase in moisture around uh, as we're going to be heading into next Monday and then headed to Wednesday. We still see all that moisture not seen where it is showing something consolidated by that point to say, yeah, we could definitely see some development take place. And it is not at all outside the realm of possibility. We're heading into the most favorable part of the year when we tend to see development. Sea surface temperatures are well on their way. Let's take a look at it. Now, this is the actual sea surface temperature map. We can see the Gulf is very warm. It's getting very warm off the southeast coast, the Bahamas, the Caribbean, as well up to 30, 31 degrees Celsius in some areas. So the Western Caribbean especially is so primed right now. These are the kind of temperatures to definitely aid in rapid formation or rapid intensification, rather, as long as other environmental conditions are conducive. So this is only a part of the story. And then we're looking at the anomaly map. This is how much the temperature is varying from what is typical. And when we're seeing all these orange and these red shadings, that is indicating above average temperatures. So well above average sea surface temperatures across much of the Western Atlantic. And this is going to be a huge boost for tropical development. So again, we've got the models showing that next week as we're going to be heading into early and even to the middle part of next week, we could see quite the surge in moisture for the northern Caribbean islands. And if it is going to be a persistent thing, you know, there could definitely be some decent rain, but even flood triggering rains across some areas. However, I'm going to keep you posted as it relates to that. But that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this update video. So again, we've got a couple of tropical waves, likely another one making its way off the African coast. And also, uh, the Saharan dust is still around. So the dust has made its way into the Caribbean. So if you're in the east, you may notice that the skies are pretty hazy out there. That's the Saharan dust. And it's going to be persistent for a couple of days. So yeah, we've got the dust out there. We've got those tropical waves. Again, the second one is going to be helping to enhance the rain for the Southeast Caribbean islands as we head into later today. So that is what is going on and I'll keep you posted as necessary. So if you have any questions, do feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond when I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be weatherwise.